Keep your eye on lane number five. That is Missy Franklin, 19 years of age, out of Centennial, Colorado. As they come to the final five meters, Missy Franklin with a good push, and it's gonna be Franklin. Missy Franklin gets it at the touch. Is anything this young lady can't do? Do you miss this pool at all? Oh, so much. Yeah, like so many memories. Unbelievable. There was any way where I could have still gone pro, but like still gotten two more years of this experience, like in a heartbeat. But at the same time, like I'm just so grateful that I got the two years that I did. You know, like I had the option to not get any of this. And I'm just like so grateful that I chose the option that gave me this. This trip back to Cal is the first time I've been back to campus, to my own apartment, to pretty much my second home for the first time since June. Despite everything that was going on in my life, you know, when I was at Cal, I was just another student. You know, I was just another athlete. I really never felt like Missy Franklin when I was on campus. I always really did just feel like Missy. You blend in very well with 35,000 undergraduates. <laughs> I get to go out there for the weekend to get recognized at the basketball game for getting my Honda Cup, um, which just means so much to me that, you know, even though I am taking this year off school to turn professional, the school still really is reaching out to me and still treating me like a cow bear because I still feel like that. It's so weird being back. <laughs> <laughs> Am I interested in law school? Uh, in Alpha Kappa Psi? Yes, of course. How do you even say this stuff? Thank you so much for all my flyers. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> oh my god, it was the craziest thing. <gasps> you back in the you? campus where it all started. I know. When Missy Franklin came for her official visit, was a special day. Every kid knew and they were tweeting and and, and, and Instagram that she was in our campus. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, Cal, there's no cupcake classes in here. This is a school, it's well, probably one of the hardest schools to get in. You cannot slack down. Missy is probably one of the most disciplined human beings. She never cracked. She never broke down. She's probably the best ambassador we have for Cal. It's like she's just infectious. That woman, you meet her, she will change your life. What's up, Missy? Hi. Her spirit still fills around the halls. Because Missy, I mean, if you think about swimming, you always have to think about Missy and Cal. NCAA championship, to have a Honda Cup, like that stuff just, it's so surreal for me, it's so cool. Somebody talented like that comes in once every blue moon. She will leave a lasting legacy. It was just incredible, like it really just became my identity, like the Cal student athlete, like that's who I became, that was who I am, and I was so incredibly proud of that, and, and those two years were just, they were, they were the best of my life. It's 6 a.m. here in Denver, and it is cold, cold, cold. Be careful out there, the roads are slick. I-70 is backed up for miles. I left everything. I left my apartment, I left my boyfriend, I left my best friend, like everything is in Berkeley. This decision was, without a doubt, 
the biggest sacrifice I've ever had to make in my life. Can I read your... No, you cannot read my text. Give me my... Does anyone else have to deal with their mother doing this? Is this just me? To know that I'd be coming back here for the year to really put all of my emphasis into my training, into my work, and know that that life was still gonna go on without me there it was just like the most heart-wrenching feeling in the world. Being back here in Denver, it really allows me to put everything I have into my training. There are no distractions, there's nothing else going on. It's just like constant exhaustion. You just live in soreness. You live in soreness, you live in like sleep deprivation, you live in just being so unbelievably tired. To have your teammates, to have your coaches, they are such a crucial part of pushing you further when you think that you can't go any faster. They'll get you there, they'll motivate you, and, and such a big part of that for me has been Todd. So when you go down there, tell me you're supposed to go two seconds after Dude, you. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Todd Schmitz, I'm the head coach of Colorado Stars. I've been Missy's coach since she was seven years old. Missy's first day on the Colorado Stars was actually my first day on the staff in our starfish group, which is made up of eight and under athletes. Who would have thought that 13 years later that we're still, uh, we're still traveling the world together. It's pretty crazy. We just grew up together and he coached me all the way through um, London in 2012. Being back with him now as a 20 year old is so much different than being with him as a 17 year old. And, and we have this incredible partnership now. Good. Hey, what's up, first? Nine swim practices a week, 18 plus hours in the water, plus three dry land sessions that are an hour plus long each. It's every lap, it's every turn, it's every stroke. Every single thing you do matters, and every single practice you're working for one more one hundredth of a second. I want, I want you to stay after here. Let's work on that right arm, on the breakouts, not sliding out too wide outside of the shoulder, all right? And then as we get some speed going into a couple 25s, really thinking about that left arm and not locking it up on the back half of your stroke, okay? Once every four years, you want to be on your best performance. And that's this year, and we want to be our best. Our practice, is where we have to really hone in on technicalities because when we're racing, like we don't have time to think. We just have to get up on the blocks and just go. Missy missed a medal, a bronze medal, by one one hundred of a second in 2012. When we talk about the difference in greatness and probably nobody remembering your name is hundreds of a second the reality is, is if you don't put that time in, you're not getting the results. Yes! Much better, I like that. I like it felt easier too. Yeah. I want to make this whole year worth it. And, and in my mind, making it worth it, is making myself proud, is making my parents proud, making Todd proud. The way that she leaves people feeling is, is a, uh, there's not a lot of people out there that leave that feeling. You smile. I, I really want people to be able to see that this is something they can do, that, you know, with the hard work, with the sacrifices, like, you know, this is just my journey and they're on their own journey, but nothing can stop them from accomplishing whatever they want to accomplish. Has it been on the whole time? No. Maybe you're pressing the wrong button.
You press the front one? No, the power button. You do it! <laughs>